Did you know just how powerful the Bible is? Hebrews 4 verse 12 says, The Word of God is living, powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. When we think about the Bible and its power and what a relative and active book it is, unlike some piece of machinery or some tool or some car that may have a certain amount of electrical or horsepower, the Bible has power that is able to transform and change man from the inside out. When I think of the power of the Gospel, I'm reminded of Romans 1.16. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. This book has the ability and power within its pages to transform a person from being sinful and separated from God to being right and accepted in the sight of God. James said in James 1.21, to lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, listen, which is able to save your souls. This book, its authority, its power, has the ability to transform us into what God wants us to be. Do you remember Romans six seventeen? The Bible says, God be thanked that though you were the slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you are delivered. How we need the mindset and the attitude of those in Acts chapter 2 who when they heard that Jesus was the one, the Messiah, the Bible says, and here's the power of the word, they were cut to the heart and they cried out, men and brethren, what shall we do? And so what's the application of this book, the Bible, being such a powerful and relevant book? We need to study it. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, and we need to obey it and put its words into action into our life. This has been another example of the power of God's Word, Did You Know?